Hello everybody. What we'll do now is see how to synchronize your underwater cell phone unit before you go on a dive. First of all, obviously, we'll make sure that you receive everything properly in the packaging. You will have a cable with the connectors. One which goes to your dry box where your cell phone would go in and your underwater unit. On the cable here, the part, the pins that have to go into your box, if you notice we have this white decal both on the box and both on the two parts of your six pin connector. Make sure that the lines line up because we need to have a guided slot. Therefore, line everything up. Once it's in, rotate it so it snaps in place. Give it a little pull to make sure that everything is connected properly. At this point, you can get your six pin connector, attach the cable to the underwater unit. We do not supply the battery, so please go purchase a 9 volt battery. You'll notice that there's a decal inside which tells you which side is the positive and which side is the negative. So line up positive with positive, make it flush, make sure that this little tag is sticking out so that way it just makes removing the battery easier when you're done with the unit. At this point, we grab our cell phone, we activate the Bluetooth based on your type of cell phone that you have. Once we have the Bluetooth activated, we go back to our underwater unit, we grab the microphone, and we, cre we press the PTT button. You will notice that first of all, after a certain while, the red light should turn on. There you go. And now, the green light also should turn on. And now they start flashing. When you see them both flashing, you can let go of the push to talk button and we go back to our cell phone. At this point now, we will go and put it in the search mode uh, to find our Bluetooth. And uh, it will find various devices. The device that we're looking for to synchronize our Bluetooth cell phone is Bravo Tango 208. Once we find Bravo Tango 208, we will confirm it. Follow, obviously, the instruction on your cell phone. Every cell phone is different. And when you finally get to the code, you will put zero four times. So, zero, 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 zero. Confirm. And you have synchronized your cell phone with the underwater unit. Now that we have everything set up, before we go on our dive, we like to make sure that, obviously, we are able to receive and transmit phone calls. To do this, you just get a friend of yours that will gently call you on your cell phone. You will should hear the phone call coming in the unit. You do not need to wet the contacts or anything. Now that you hear the phone call, to answer if you wish, just hit the button very briefly and Hello? respond to your friend. Hello, how are you there? I'm Every fine, thanks, and you? Good, Paul. I'll see you later for dinner. <laughs> Once you're done with the phone call, again, just a small tap and you have terminated your phone call. At this point, we are sure and we know that we can receive phone calls. Now that we know that we can uh, receive a phone call, we obviously would like to know if we can also make a phone call. To do this test, uh, simply again, uh, what we have to do is go uh, based on our telephone. We hit the button one time. At this point, we will hear a signal. Or, based on the cell phone, it could say, call who. So, at this point, simply, and make sure that if you don't have it in the mask, that you uh, speak into the microphone on the white side and say who you would like to call. Lavoro. Okay. If some time it goes by and it doesn't work, just hit the button again. Wait again for the signal. Lavoro. At this point, obviously, you will hear a beep. It is making the phone call for you. Hello? Hello, Paul. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, you. Oh, good. 
Remember the dinner for tonight. Okay, your turn to buy for the beer. <laughs> this